Oh hi everyone! I'm back with another packing video. Um, in this one, I'm using a new backpack that I re recently purchased. Um, remember that teal one that I had in the flying with a backpack video? Yeah, I ended up returning that one. <laughs> I did not like it at all. Um, it was just... It, it felt really small even though on Amazon it said it was a 30 liter backpack it felt a lot smaller and um, yeah I just didn't like it so returned that ended up getting this really awesome um, Timbuktu backpack it was very pricey but I think it's definitely worth it the whole purpose of this video is that I wanted to see if there's a real difference between using the packing cubes these ones remember the packing cubes different sizes and stuff so yeah, I'm going to see if there is an actual difference if I use them or not. I did use them um, on my last trip back home and I honestly didn't really feel like there was that big of a difference. If anything, it was really nice for organizing my stuff. So this time I'm just going to sit down, um, first use the packing cubes and we'll put it into the backpack and we'll see how much extra space I have, if any and then I'll do it again without using the packing cubes just to see a comparison. And so if you're interested in seeing how this little experiment goes, then stick around and watch the video. Before I go, my shirt doesn't just say tacos on it. It's not just the taco shirt. <laughs> it says tacos and chill. Like Netflix and chill. Get it? Okay, bye. Here's all of my items that I plan on putting into my backpack. So I've got my backpack, a pair of wedges, five bottoms, including like jeans and some sweats, my underwear garment bag, and then I have five tops, including just t-shirts and blouses. And then I've got my camera bag, some toiletry items like makeup and then shampoo and whatnot straightener, my charger, and a 32 ounce um, hydro flask. All right, so in the big packing cube, I'm going to be putting in all of my bottoms. got everything in the large or not everything but all of my bottoms in the large packing cube okay and now I've decided to use the small packing cube for all of my tops and I've already pre-rolled them so I'll just throw them into the packing cube We've got all of my tops, five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five tops. Gosh, I can't do math. I have three, <laughs> I have six tops in here. Okay, so <laughs> I really suck at math, as you can tell. But there are six tops in the small packing cube. And then using another small packing cube, all of my undergarments and socks are put into here. And since I have that medium garment bag, or not garment, um, packing cube, I've decided to just throw all of my toiletries and makeup just for organization's sake into this packing cube. And there you go. I've got my toiletries makeup in the um, medium sized packing cube. Okay, now that I have everything in the packing cubes, I'm going to go ahead and start putting it into the backpack. Starting with um, my wedges. Isn't this shoe bag super cute? My mom made it. I know, so cute. So I've got the wedges in there. And then my backpack has this really cool bottom pocket, so that's where I'm going to throw the wedges in.
And then I was able to put my water bottle on the side through one of these straps. So with the packing cubes, um, there isn't too much space, like extra space. I think I could probably fit in um, like a sweatshirt in here. There is a little bit room. Not too much though. But yeah, if I would maybe put in a light jacket or a small sweatshirt, I think I could do so. I mean, there's a, there's some space like up here in the top and then on the bottom and then right here underneath my camera. So not too much space though. Oh, and um, this backpack is really cool because it even has a 17 inch laptop sleeve. So there we go, that's with um, the packing cubes. Now let's see how much extra space I have, or not extra space, without using the packing cubes. So I'm actually going to keep the uh, my underwear and my socks in the small garment bag, and then I'm also going to keep like the random stuff, like my toiletries, in another garment bag just for organization's sake. And there we go. So, in all honesty, I don't really see a huge difference with like space at least. I mean, I know like without using the cubes, you can definitely kind of play it like Tetris and just shove things in certain areas to optimize your space. But to me, it seems like the same. Like I still have a little bit of room up here um, and then a little bit down here. So again, I could throw in a light jacket or a sweatshirt. I still have everything else in their places, so the random stuff here in the mesh, and then the stuff up at the top, and my wedges at the bottom. And yeah, everything still seems the same. Alright, so in conclusion, was there a big difference with using the packing cubes and not using the packing cubes? Um, when it comes to maximizing space in my backpack, I felt like there wasn't a difference. Um, if anything, without using the packing cubes, I probably could have tetris my clothes and things a little bit more to where I can optimize space. Maybe it's also the type of packing cubes that I got. Uh, I, I mean, they were like the cheapest ones that I found on Amazon. There are plenty of other packing cubes out there that are different than the ones that I got. So maybe those ones might work better. But with this little experiment, the ones that I got definitely didn't really save space. So yeah, maybe next time I'll try out some of the other ones that they have out there. And if you yourself use packing cubes when you travel and you use a different kind than what I use, please um, shoot it in the comments or just hit me up, let me know, and then I definitely like to try them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck on all of your travels and I'll see you later.